anybody anywhere in the world can suddenly discover they have cancer, how do they react? What should they do? What do they need to do? We are fortunate to have with us the manager of the cancer program in Iran, Dr. Ali Murtala. Welcome to the program. You have a lot of experience in this field. What would you tell the viewers on what to do when they first discover they have, or even before? Okay, uh, I'm very happy to speak with the uh, people hear my voice. And uh, I, I should say, uh, uh, in contrast uh, to uh, last uh, previous years, uh, many of cancer patients live more and more. Uh, I, I think uh, there are two main causes for this uh, event. Uh, one of them is uh, early detection of cancer, and the second one, uh, many choice of treatments, treatments nowadays uh, are available. Uh, yes, we have uh, at the present time. For example, uh, uh, my uh, my grandmother died. Uh, from cancer, esophageal cancer, around uh, 25 years ago when uh, I was a Child. student <laughs> uh, in uh, high school. Uh, but at the present time, I have so many patients with esophageal cancer uh, live um, for um, long periods. For several so years. you're giving hope to all these people. Yes. And you mentioned something like early detection, which comes to the forefront. I heard from our man giving example for the region, that everybody who is 40 years old can walk into any clinic and get the necessary screening. Is this happening in other parts as well? Yes. Uh, for early detection, two things is important. Uh, one of the related to the people and other one related to the uh, governance. Okay. Uh, for the people, knowing the sign and symptoms of cancer is very important. For example, if you find any lump in your breast as a woman... You have to woman, immediately go. Yes, you should go uh, to the uh, doctor or health professional in your country. Uh, and even uh, if you find uh, the mass that are malignant, uh, if uh, you do surgery as soon as possible, uh, you can be cured. There uh, are many women who had breast yes. cancer, to reassure you, that are living over long periods of time. Yes, the, most of the women with breast cancer uh, at the present time uh, live uh, several years. Okay. So it's like, doesn't affect their livelihood in a way, to a large yes. extent. Yes. Now, so you're telling every woman and every man, I guess, because prostate cancer is also very common, right? I mean, these are the two most common cancers in women and in men. So everybody needs to be screened quick enough. Uh, the, we are two strategy for early detection of cancer. One of them is early diagnosis, means if you have any su suspicious symptoms for cancer, for example, uh, if you have uh, symptoms of, uh, for example, if you see blood in your, uh, uh, I mean, uh, defecation, you should go uh, uh, to the doctor and health professional. And the second strategy is a screening. If you have not any symptoms, maybe... You still need to go? Maybe some choice for the um, early detection of cancer. For example, uh, for colorectal cancer, we have a simple test uh, named FIT. Uh, fecal immunochemical test. Uh, it, it is a non-invasive test for and yet it can uh, tell you screening of cancer. And uh, with this test, we, we can uh, find cancer and polyps uh, in, polyps the main, uh, in the colon. Mass, in, 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 in the colon. Then. And uh, then we can find uh, cancer earlier and can be more curable. Dr. Ali, what you are telling us now is that screening is very important and people should not be as scared as they used to be before because now management is available, lots of treatments are available. What I want to ask as head of the cancer de department, how do you deal with people if we discover late and they are in pain? What kind of palliative treatment is given? Okay, uh, this is a good question because uh, there are two aspects of treatment for cancer. One of uh, them increase the quantity of life 
and the other one increases the quality of life. Uh, when we speak about palliative care, means we want to increase the quality of life. Uh, but it is important to know when you increase the quality of life with different treatments, uh, indirectly can affect the quantity of life because you can tolerate more and more the uh, conventional treatment, for example, chemotherapy on, and radiotherapy, and uh, you can survive more. And uh, people, it's better to know palliative care is very important and they should ask their physician uh, for different treatment, for example, for pain management, for management of nausea, vomiting and diarrhea, and, uh, and they uh, do not scare from the treatment of pain, for example, with opioid, and the opioid uh, cannot lead to addiction for them because um, it, it can relieve, relieve their pains, and if your pain relief, you can tolerate more uh, tr conventional treatment and can survive more. So are, is this becoming more of a speciality, pain relief? I mean, are some doctors specializing in that because it's really very important? This yes. Is. yes, but uh, uh, I think uh, in different level of care, uh, for example, general physician uh, who uh, are certified for prescription of uh, pain uh, and uh, analgesic treatment uh, can prescribe uh, treatment because uh, general physicians are more available for the patients. Okay, so you're, telling, you're saying that general physicians should also not be afraid to give opiates when necessary because yes. of the pain. Thank you very much, Dr. Ali, for telling us all this and reassuring you all. Cancer has come a long way. Screening is available, treatment and management of all kinds. True that chemotherapy sometimes affects, especially women, if the hair falls off, they don't have to worry, it grows back. All these things are reassuring you more and more that now we don't have to fear cancer as much as we did before.